Now at 6.02, the Broward Sheriff's Office is mourning the loss of one of their own after a deputy is killed in an on-duty crash. The deputy was responding to a domestic violence car early yesterday morning when the crash happened. And as deputies are mourning, they are also trying to figure out what led to this crash. CBS 4's Riel Creighton is live in Deerfield Beach where this all happened. Riel. Now, this is so incredibly difficult for BSO as a whole. There is now a makeshift small memorial that's been set up at the spot where that crash happened. Law enforcement as a community is grieving this loss. Broward deputies heartbroken over the loss of one of their own after a deadly crash. The body of a deputy was escorted from the hospital to the medical examiner Sunday. The loss of a law enforcement officer impacting people who didn't even know him, like a retired BSO deputy who brought flowers to Military Trail in Southwest 10th Street in Deerfield Beach where the crash happened. This poor young man has, you know, paid the ultimate price. And I just feel a duty to represent, you know, just respect him. Investigators have not released the name of the deputy who was killed on duty while on the way to a domestic violence call at around 3 Sunday morning. Jeffrey Bell with the BSO Deputies Association says after a year and a half of working at the sheriff's office, this deputy only had three more shifts until moving out of state to be with his family. And there's a family out there that no longer has their husband that's going to come home or the father to their two young children. So we're, we're devastated. The crash involved the deputy's cruiser and a Toyota Tundra pickup. Investigators say the driver of the truck will survive and is stable at the hospital. Detectives are now looking into whether the sirens were on and who is at fault. The loud impact woke up this neighbor. I knew something happened somewhere. So. And that's why I'm coming over here this morning, just to pay my respects. Detectives closed the intersection for hours that went well into the afternoon. Um, our detectives were waiting until sunlight so that they could thoroughly document this scene. Because of an ongoing payroll deduction agreement between BSO and the union, the family of the fallen deputy will be able to get immediate financial help in the hopes of relieving some of the stress. Once again, it just, just so, uh, showcases to the general public how dangerous this job is. Well, again, the circumstances surrounding that crash, who was at fault, are still under investigation. Live in Deerfield Beach, Riel Creighton, CBS4 This Morning.